Hi, this is Billy Gerritsen with Game Salads Game Team 1. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Twitter button that utilizes our new tweet sheet behavior. So I have a blank project here. Uh, I do have a couple images. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull this image up here um, and create a new actor. And this is going to be the basis for my, uh, my Twitter button. So let me just pull this into a scene so you can kind of get an idea of you know, what it could look like inside of your scene. Uh, let's just jump right into this actor. So because it's a button, I'm going to create a rule. And then uh, for the rule condition, I'm going to make it uh, when actor receives event touch and when touch is pressed. Uh, so if you navigate in your behaviors uh, library, go to the pro bucket and uh, pull in tweet sheet. Okay, so then uh, we can pull this into our rule condition so that essentially this will trigger uh, when, when, the, uh, when the button is pressed. Um, so let's take a look at tweet sheet here. Uh, there's a couple fields and then there's a toggle. Um, so if you uh, if you're familiar with the way Twitter works, usually Twitter it's a uh, it's a text-based message. It's made up of 140 characters, um, and it and it posts to uh, your essentially if you're logged into Twitter, it'll post directly to your wall. And so the neat thing about TweetSheet is it is an iOS 5 specific behavior. It takes advantage of the iOS 5 uh, architecture to allow. Uh, rich media attachment. So essentially, you can attach an image to your your tweet message, and I'll I'll show you kind of what what that looks like. So um, right here is a, a screenshot that I took of of a tweet sheet message that I uh, that I sent to myself earlier in an earlier test. So essentially, um, this image existed in my in my game, and I was able to push a message out. Uh, at the click of a button that had this image attached, and so when I open the message in Twitter, this is what it looks like. So you're able to push some some uh, media along with your uh, along with your message, um, and that's extremely valuable when you think about being able to like attach an icon or a screenshot or an achievement badge or or any anything that's going to get people to pay attention to that to that uh, tweet message. Um, and then, and therefore, uh, increase the engagement, right? The social engagement with your product. So, um, TweetSheet's actually really cool. It opens up a lot of new possibilities for developers. Um, so let's uh, let's jump back to the behavior real quick. So the first field here is the message field, um, and the message is is how you traditionally think of. Essentially, it's that text string, that 140 character text string, um, and you have the opportunity to fill this out. Like I could fill it out with a bunch of custom text. Uh, manually, and uh, or I could use uh, an attribute. If I had an attribute or a table reference or a table cell that actually had messages pre-populated, I could access them from the uh, from the expression editor dialog here. So I can get any access to any attribute I wanted to or um, to uh, a table cell value. Uh, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to put a custom message that says, uh, "Thanks for trying out this game." Um, and again, that is that is totally editable and up to you. Uh, the image field is where where things get a little interesting because um, you can now specify an image from your from your game library that you would like to um, uh, attach to your Twitter message. So if you've ever um, inter interacted with the image attribute, um, all it is 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 essentially the name of your image, and uh, without the .png or the .jpg. It's literally just the, the initial naming string. So in this example, what I'm going to do is let's find out the name of this guy. Okay, this guy is Twitter underscore Newbird underscore Box underscore White on Blue. I don't know why I went with that image. It's kind of a long name, but bear with me. Okay, so all I have to do is copy that name. Underscore Box underscore White on Blue. Again, uh, you don't need the file extension. So now I have um, attached that image to this message. So when this image, when this uh, message gets pushed out, um, that image is going to be attached to it, uh, whether whether the user edits the message or not. And I'll get to uh, message editing in just a second. So um, again, it's important to remember that um, anything you you attach to, or anything that you reference in the image field. Uh, will get pushed um, and will not be editable by the player. So if you don't want, if you just want it to be like a traditional um, uh, Twitter message where it's just text only, uh, you would leave that image field blank. 
Uh, and if there's a reference in there that is null or it's essentially it's a broken link, it will show up as essentially blank. So there won't be any image uh, attached to your to your Twitter message. Um, so so again, this is up to you. And you can again, we give you the expression editor, so you can use um, an attribute or a table reference. I think table references make it really interesting because then you can have essentially a row that has a message and an image associated with it and all you have to do is reference the row and, and then the rest will kind of fill in on its own. Um, so the last little uh, um, component here is this editable by player toggle. So you can toggle it on and off. Um, and so uh, what that allows the player to do is essentially if editable by player is checked on then the player is going to uh, be able to uh, jump in using the virtual keyboard on iOS. They'll be able to jump in and it, even if you had a message written there before, they can come in and they can delete the whole thing and they can write whatever they want. Um, and uh, that might be really important. Like if you have just a general um, t uh, Twitter button on your main menu, um, you might want to let the player put whatever message um, uh, that they want so that they can, again, in their own words, uh, tell all their friends and tell the whole world how cool your game is or, or what specifically about your game is worth their while. Uh, so, so there are definitely a, events uh, or occasions uh, that you would want the player to be able to edit that message. Uh, and again, you know, the power of them being able to edit the message, but then still uh, associating, like attaching a, a screenshot or an icon with it, means that you know players still get that opportunity to be engaged with your brand, um, even if the messaging is up to the the user. Um, so then, uh, on the flip side, if you take editable by player off the message essentially will push without any additional player interaction. So it's essentially as soon as the player pushes the, the, the button, right, their access point to Twitter, uh, the message will send automatically. So they won't see this interface at all. Essentially, the message will just show up in their, in their feed more like this. Um, and this was definitely uh, a, a, essentially a developer-controlled message. So, so an example of when you might want to use uh, a non-editable message would be when to do like a specific uh, like like brag for instance if you got a new high score in the game you're not going to want to let the player edit the value for the high score uh, you're going to want them to be able to push a Twitter message that says hey I just scored a million trillion gazillion points on this awesome game and essentially brag to all their friends about it or if you uh, unlock an achievement this is actually a really good sister product for the Game Center achievement features that we've just added as well, where as soon as you've unlocked an achievement, you can then trigger a Twitter message to beam out instantly to that player's wall that essentially announces to the world that they just got that cool achievement. And then you can even attach the, uh, the icon or badge associated with that achievement. And then again, it, it kind of fulfills a, a, a more, a, I guess, a, a more fleshed out story for that achievement, right? Because not only do you get to feel proud about what you've accomplished, now you get to share that with uh, really anyone that's, that's, that can see your, your Twitter feed. So pretty, it's a pretty powerful feature, um, even if the behavior kind of looks really basic. Uh, we've, made it, we've made it very flexible, very expandable. Um, and again, you can come up with an entire achievement slash Twitter message like table that, that you can reference using the expression editor that kind of automates a lot of the messaging for you based on the uh, based on the event that's being triggered. So again, quick run through. If you just you know want a plain Jane Twitter message, no media, no message kind of um, pre built in, this is what you'll do. You just drag the behavior right in. By default, this is what it looks like. There's nothing in the message field. There's nothing in the image field. And by default, it's checked to editable editable by player. Um, and then that's kind of like the most basic implementation. But from there, you can customize it very, very greatly. So um, to test this out, you're, you're going to need to do uh, an ad hoc build because in preview mode, if you click it, you just get kind of a, a generic stub. Um, and that's because uh, during preview mode, Game Salad has no concept of the, uh, the user being logged into their Twitter account. But uh, yeah, if you, if you guys want to kind of see what the results look like, this is, a, this is actually a Twitter message that was generated uh, from an ad hoc build that I made. Um, so, so yeah, uh, I'm really, really eager to see how people kind of uh, use Twitter to their advantage. Uh, we definitely see it as a way to, to build um, engagement, social engagement with your, with your audience and to allow your audience to kind of market your game for you. And, um, 
and I don't know if I covered this already, but uh, kind of built in at the bottom of every of every uh, tweet sheet message that goes out, there's going to be a link, a direct link to your app on the uh, iTunes App Store. So essentially, every message that you put out is is a is a billboard for your game, no matter what the message says. So uh, we definitely recommend you utilizing TweetSheet um, as often as you can responsibly. So uh, yeah, enjoy it. <laughs>